Q60 is designed to handle two major problems in the fishery industry. In the first instance, the ammonia load. In the second instance, we also want to sterilize the water because we're getting a lot of invasive species into aquaculture that are destroying shrimp farms and fish farms globally. So what we've developed is a system that removes the ammonia that builds up, but also sanitizes the water so we can get rid of the bacterial loads. With the rapid growth of aquaculture worldwide, the biggest problem facing aqua farmers is water management. On some fish farms, they have one fish pond with the fish and five ponds dedicated to remove removing ammonia and other contaminants from the water. After using Origin Oil technology, they will be able to dedicate all six ponds to growing fish. That's really increasing their production by five or six times. Rocky French is one of those fantastic visionaries who's really done sustainable agriculture for the 21st century. We set up a whole 50 gallon drum of his ammonia water. We started running this and the ammonia level dropped and it dropped again. He's had this big problem of getting rid of ammonia. In fact, he has this natural pond system that takes him between six and eight weeks to get rid of the ammonia. So he was really, really happy to see that we could do the same process that took him eight weeks and 30 seconds. When uh, Origin Oil came along, we, we thought that this company could really uh, move us into the next level of uh, fish production. So this is the Aqua Q60. It's for ammonia removal and disinfection. The footprint is extremely small for a machine that operates at 60 liters per minute. It scales very easily. All you have to do is add larger filters, more electrode tubes the water will enter the primary pump and then it's gonna to go to the SSE tubes which are on the back. Now we're looking at the back of the Q60. This is where the ammonia is removed. These are the SSE tubes. SSE stands for single step extraction. They're essentially electrodes with a stainless cathode on the outside and a titanium alloy anode. The water flows between them. There's two banks of uh, six tubes on this machine in particular, but they stack very easily. You can add on another bank of tubes here without increasing the footprint of the Q60 very much at all. You can easily touch it when the machine is on because the pulses are just DC electricity. What happens in the electrode tubes is that the anode scavenges an electron from any source of chloride. It will be turned into chlorine, and then the chlorine compounds will turn the ammonia directly into nitrogen gas. The residual chlorine is collected in the filters, and you have completely clean water going to the culture tank. As a, an added bonus, because of the ORP levels in the electrode tubes get to be so high, pathogens just cannot live in that environment, and the water is almost completely disinfected by the time it returns to the culture tank. Everything in this design is rigged for very low power requirement. You can literally power this by solar panels and not have a million solar panels, but 10 solar panels. A wonderful machine, man. Eh? All the machines that we've been uh one thing for since 1970s, as we already knew our problem way back then.